ladies, um, I just thought I'd have a bit of a catch up. Um, I am currently on with Sonia Steptoe's challenge. Um, I, it's a 300 subbies challenge and you've got to do something using recycled stuff. <laughs> um, so hop along over to Sonia Steptoe's Son, Son, Sonia. <laughs> Sonia challenge. Um, if you can't find her, she's on my um, featured channels. All the ladies that I um, converse with the most are on there. Um, um, so you can find her on there. Um, and it's a 300 subbies challenge. And I think it, it's all based around doing a recycle, something out of recycling. You know, make sure you everything's, like make your own flowers and use recycled materials where you can and things like that. So hop along over. You've got to be a subbie, so go and sub to her. And um, see what she's doing. Um, Kim Ward is also doing a um, challenge at the moment. So if you hop along to Kim Ward's cha uh, channel, if you haven't subbed, go and sub here. And hers is a called a winter challenge. Um, and you've got to do a piece that will go on your, like your dressing table or something that when you look at it, it will inspire you. Um, I know what I'm going to do for mine. Um, I'm just waiting, um, I'm going to do one based around my mother-in-law, there's a beautiful, beautiful photo that we found of her um, when we were going through her photos and um, obviously she got married in the 50s so she's got a, the most beautiful dress on, you know, with the really fitted waist and, and the long sleeves and then they're out, you know, straight out like that. Beauty. She looks absolutely just like a movie star and it's in black and white. Obviously, it's vintage because it's 50s. So I'm going to put that a copy of that in a frame and then alter it all shabby chic. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put it on my dresser um, and that's going to be mine. Um, but there's quite a long... Um, I think I don't think you have to do that one until ma March. So it's it, it's it's up here. It's on my to do list, Kimmy. <laughs> but it keeps getting pushed to the back when people keep bringing these challenges out for me to do. So at the moment, I'm on with Sonia Steptoe's challenge, and I've had a right brainwave. Um, so yeah, so everything, every single component, and what I'm using is handmade. Everything. There won't be a single bought thing on it. It'll all be what I've either scrounged or recycled. So I, I, I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait actually because I think it's quite a, a nice idea and I don't think anybody else will do it. Um, not that it's like some brainwave massive first thing nobody's ever done before. I'm not that clever. It's just something that I don't think a lot of people will do. So there you go. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else, what else have I been doing? Um, just making random flowers and um, I've been doing one of the, the show. Oh, I don't want them all to drop on the floor because I'm in the middle of, I'm middle of doing one of these um, that my friend Dee showed us, Betsy Doodle, the cow whatever, I'm not even going to try, try and pronounce it, Kanashi, Kawashi, I don't know, something like that made out of these paper cones, so that's where I've got so far. I bought this um, paper specialer. Um, I splashed out. Uh, it wasn't sale. <laughs> um, it's um, I don't know, but it's quite good because I didn't realise what's it called now. Hold on, I don't know if the piece of paper's behind where I've propped this up. Hold on. Yeah. Paper mania capsule. And now the good thing about these are they were over here. And every single sheet is different because I was like, I were a bit like, well, man, but I'm going to have them all the same. And it's going, and then I looked and I thought, eh, they're all different these. And then when I looked on the front, it's 32, I think. I can't see it right in. Yeah, 32 individual designs. So every sheet of paper you get in there is different. So for something like that, it's ideal because it's all going to be different. It's going to be ace. I can't wait till it's done. Alexia's been helping me. She's been doing some of the folding. That's how easy it is. My six-year-old has been doing it with me. So that's our joint project at the moment. And I've just got this from charity shop. I've, oh, yeah, I've been shopping. Only charity shop shopping because um, I don't get my monthly wage till Monday. So come Monday, I'm going to be like, I need to go to range. 
But I got I just picked this up today in charity shop. 50p. It's a little box with like it's like a birthday reminders box and it's got some cards still left in it. I think there's seven. Um but she loves altering boxes. She's obsessed with it. Honestly, over there in her craft area, there must be five or six boxes with just random stuff stuck all over it. She just loves it. So I thought, well, for 50p, that's a decent size box, that, and it's got a fairy on it already, so she might just put some lace around it or whatever. She'll be nattering for my stuff. So, <laughs> and then, I've been shopping for some um, vintage trims. Um, obviously, because I like doing my pin cushions, and I'm doing quite a few to send out to some ladies. Um that have been kind to me and I've just got these today actually little and I thought they'd be nice you know to glue on as little like embellishments to them and the little um, porcelain thimbles you know like I don't know people collect and they were just a big basket full of them in charity shop they were like 25 pence each I thought, oh, you know like glue them on the side and then if I could find some little tiny like uh, what do you call them? Thread spools and little mini scissors I could, you know, and, and keep it, the decoration in keeping with to do with sewing. That's my idea. So, yeah, I thought they were all right. I'm still looking. I've got old ladies in charity shops around where I live. There's like three close to me. Uh, I've got them all um, looking out for individual um, china cup and saucers they've got a couple in but they, they want to sell them in a full tea set and I don't want to buy a full tea set so I said if you find any even if they've got a tiny little chip on it doesn't matter because I'm going to alter them so they're all like yeah we'll save them for you bless them anyway I found this in one today um I don't know how much there is on there but there's a fair fair whack of them um, that's the wide broader on glaze and a paid a pound so you'd probably pay that for a meter and I bet there's three or four meters on there isn't there so I didn't think that were bad. That met, they met lovely flowers, <laughs> lovely, lovely flowers. And then I picked up some more vintage mats. Um, now I buy them obviously for the for the edging, and that's a nice crocheted edging on that one. Oh, I'm getting stuck on my pin cushion. But this one's got like embroidery on as well, if you can see there. So I'll I'll serve that, and that'll go on some. And then I don't waste the cloth. They met nice flowers, nice fr you know frayy flowers. Smells a bit old ladyish, so I'll need to wash that. But one at charity shops, the stuff are always spotless because they've got an old deer that washes everything. So it all smells gorgeous, so you don't need to wash it. And then the other one, they always smell a bit like, you know, like empty houses. <laughs> um, and then I got this one. Um, again, because it's long and flat like that, I can um, have that edging counter and then obviously cut the little flowers medallions out and that was 20p so I don't think that were bad and then I've just got some sometimes I just have random bits of material and this is like it's like a thin cheese clothy type you know with like lines and bubbles and I just thought oh that might that'll make nice fray flowers as well because it'll fray so I don't even know what it is I think it's just a random piece of material but it's quite big and that was 50p so that's quite it's probably a good few meters on there I don't buy material from material shops I me mean, never ever I've never bought any from a material shop and then I got this is obviously um, you know like a cafe net like them short neck curtains that some people used to have in the like kitchen windows and I just thought well I can make make flowers out of it or cover stuff with it or whatever it'll come in and there's a good long piece there and I think that will 50p as well because I'm planning my, my big plan is I'm, I'm saving for a die cut machine and then I want um tattered florals or something like that so I'll you know be able to I mean you can make flowers without them but that's my plan and then I got this one as well, which I really, really liked. Um, you know, because you're getting trims that you can't always see in town. I mean, when I go to Samuel Taylor's, they've got some nice trims. They're not amazing. But it's the same 
every shop you go in they're all the same whereas when you buy the vintage ones you see you're getting something a bit different that you can't buy in shops because obviously they don't sell it no more and I got this one so I thought that were really nice and it's like Broderie Anglaise little cloth thing so I can use the material and then the, I just thought that that edging were just gorgeous really really pretty so that's cotton isn't it rather than lace but I mean I can use the edging I could cut the flowers out and use them like a plague so I could do whatever you could do whatever with that you could make flower out of the edge I'll probably use that edging to go around a I don't know around a pin cushion whatever so that was that one was 20p as well no 40p that one so I didn't think that was bad bad little haul I'm, I'm interested to know how much is on this board young glaze I'm going to measure it uh, how many metres are these boards I'm crying I don't know how many metres these bads are. Hold well on, where's my glasses? Right, well that's up to 50 in it there. So that's half a metre. So that's one half, one, half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, just over three and a half metres for a pound. That's not bad, is it? I'm happy with that. Not as good as my mate Dee's bargains in blooming barns the other day. What? Might have to just go, I don't think I've been for years. So yeah, so I am currently on the lookout for some China teacups. So, um, that's what I'm doing. I've also, I'm terrible me, you know, I've got about 10 things on go at once. But I watched Ruth this morning, and for some reason I were unsubbed to Ruth when I went when I saw her thing. I'm like, eh, why does it say subscribe? I've been subscribed to Ruth since nearly I started coming on YouTube. So I keep checking now and again, you know, that you subscribe to your favourite ladies because every now and again it goes dodger. So here we are, look, Ruth. I've been print cutting out some circles of purple paper to start and make some buttons. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And I did try to do one of those concertina flowers, um, like Dee sent me, but I've obviously done, I've obviously not made it long enough. I haven't got a scoring board, so I just folded it by hand. And I know you just pleat it and then you do all that with it, but uh, whatever, I'm bothered. I've obviously not made it long enough, or something. I don't know. Blow me if I'm gonna need to watch a blooming tutorial on how to do that, then I'm a bit pathetic at her, but is that about right? That's not far off, is it? I just need to make them a bit longer, I think. <laughs> anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with you and have a catch up because um I like to uh, come on and talk bubbles and um have a little chat with you all. Um so yeah. Uh, I'm on with Sonia's and I, I might show you when I've done, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see, I might keep it a secret, I don't know, do we have to do a response, do we have to show it, I can't remember, I'm going to go check if we've got to show it or not, or if we just send it, Um, yeah, right, I'm going ladies and I will speak to you soon, take care and have a lovely day, bye for now.